Unit 7. Exercise 1. Jason is a pain in the neck. Page 66. It's a Monday evening in late January. Eric's in his bedroom. He's trying to study. He can't study very well. Jason's playing his stereo. The music is loud. Eric is thinking about his brother. Listen. A. Narrative. Jason is a pain in the neck. That darn Jason. I can't study with that music playing. Jason is a pain in the neck. He's always listening to loud music. Or talking on the telephone. Or playing games on the computer. He never studies. And those friends of his. Yuck. That kid Bill. Smoking already. Phew. Well, that's his problem. I have my own problems. Cars and money. And girls. My car needs a new battery. But I don't have the money. And Susan. I like her, but... She wants to go out every weekend. More money. And that new girl, Annette. Mmm, she's nice. I'm gonna call her after the test. Jason, turn down that music! B. The narrative imparts. Jason is a pain in the neck. Listen to the phrases and sentences. Just listen. Do not repeat. I can't study with that music playing. Jason is a pain in the neck. He's always listening to loud music. He never studies. And those friends of his... Bill is smoking already. I have my own problems. Cars, money, and girls. My car needs a new battery. I don't have the money. Susan wants to go out every weekend. More money. Annette is nice. I'm going to call her after the test. Jason, turn down that music. See, the narrative again. Jason is a pain in the neck. Listen and look at the illustration in A again. That darn Jason. I can't study with that music playing. Jason is a pain in the neck. He's always listening to loud music. Or talking on the telephone. Or playing games on the computer. He never studies. And those friends of his. Yuck. That kid Bill. Smoking already. Phew. Well, that's his problem. I have my own problems. Cars and money. And girls. My car needs a new battery. But I don't have the money. And Susan. I like her, but... She wants to go out every weekend. More money. And that new girl, Annette. Mmm, she's nice. I'm gonna call her after the test. Jason, turn down that music! D. Check your comprehension. Jason is a pain in the neck. Listen to each question and choose the correct answer. 1. What's Eric trying to do? 
Two. How does Eric feel? Three. Does Eric like Jason's friend? Four. What does Jason's friend Bill do? Five. What does Eric's car need? Six. What does Eric need? Seven. When will Eric call Annette? E. Identifying quiz. Jason is a pain in the neck. Listen to six statements about Eric or Jason. Who is the statement about? Touch the picture of Eric or Jason. Example: You will hear, Jason likes to play loud music. Touch Jason's picture. Ready? One, he's listening to loud music. Two, he's studying for an examination. Three, he has a friend who smokes cigarettes. Four, he has a car. Five, he's interested in a girl named Annette. Six, he's upset and unhappy. Exercise two. Eric, you study too much. Page sixty-nine. Eric is studying and Jason is listening to music. The telephone is ringing. Listen to the telephone conversation between Eric and one of his friends. A. Conversation. Eric, you study too much. Hello. Hello, Eric. It's Susan. Who is it? It's Susan. Just a minute, Susan. Jason, turn down the music. I'm on the phone. Sorry, Susan. What's new? There's a dance Friday night at school. You want to go with me to the dance? Gee, Susan, I'd like to, but. But what? Well, I've got to get up early Saturday morning. I'm taking the college entrance exams. So am I. We can come home from the dance early. Well, um, I want to study Friday night. I need to review some algebra before the test. Eric, you study too much. But okay, I'll ask Eddie to the dance. Look, Susan, how about a movie on Saturday night? I'll think about it. See you at the exam. See you then. Bye. Bye. B. The conversation in parts. Eric. You study too much. Listen to the phrases and sentences. Repeat the phrases and sentences after the speaker. Hello. Hello, Eric. It's Susan. Who is it? Jason, turn down the music. I'm on the phone. What's new? There's a dance Friday night. Do you want to go with me to the dance? I'd like to, but I've got to get up early Saturday morning. I'd like to, but I've got to get up early Saturday morning. I'm taking the college entrance exams. We can come home from the dance early. I need to review some algebra before the test. I'll ask Eddie to the dance. How about a movie on Saturday night? I'll think about it. C. The conversation again. Eric, you study too much. 
Listen and look at the illustration in A again. Hello. Hello, Eric. It's Susan. Who is it? It's Susan. Just a minute, Susan. Jason, turn down the music. I'm on the phone. Sorry, Susan. What's new? There's a dance Friday night at school. You want to go with me to the dance? Gee, Susan, I'd like to, but. But what? Well, I've got to get up early Saturday morning. I'm taking the college entrance exams. So am I. We can come home from the dance early. Well, um, I want to study Friday night. I need to review some algebra before the test. Eric, you study too much. But okay, I'll ask Eddie to the dance. Look, Susan, how about a movie on Saturday night? I'll think about it. See you at the exam. See you then. Bye. Bye. D. Check your comprehension. Eric, you study too much. Listen to each question and choose the correct answer. One. Who's calling Eric on the phone? Two. Does Jason turn down the music for Eric? Three. What does Susan want to do? Four. What's happening on Saturday morning? Five. Who will go with Susan to the dance? Six. How does Susan feel at the end of the conversation? Seven. Why is Susan upset? Stop the tape and give your own ideas for choices A, B, and C. E. True false quiz. Eric, you study too much. Listen to five statements about Eric. Is the statement true? Shake your head yes, up and down. Is the statement false? Shake your head no, side to side. One. Susan likes Eric a lot. Two. Eric's going to go to the dance Friday night. Three. Susan's going to study Friday night and not go to the dance. Four. Eric wants Susan to go out on a date Saturday night. Five. Susan may not go with Eric Saturday night to the movie. Exercise three. Jason is smart, but page seventy-one. Jason is lying on his bed. He isn't sleeping. He's thinking about his report card. He's worried about something. What is Jason worried about? Listen. A. Narrative. Jason is smart, but Jason doesn't get good grades in school, but he has a lot of friends. All of his classmates like him. He's the number one player on his soccer team. He plays forward on the team. He usually makes points for his soccer team. Jason likes computers. He knows how to program the computer. Jason's really smart, but he hates to study. He's worried about his grades. He's looking at his report card now. He's thinking, "Boy, mom and dad are going to be mad about my grades." Listen to the next conversation to find out about Jason's grades. B. The narrative imparts. Jason is smart, but. Listen to the phrases and sentences. Just listen. Do not repeat. Jason doesn't get good grades. He has a lot of friends.
He's the number one player on his soccer team. He plays forward. He usually makes points. He likes computers. He knows how to program. Jason hates to study. He's worried about his grades. Mom and Dad are going to be mad. C. The narrative again. Jason is smart, but listen and look at the illustration in A again. Jason doesn't get good grades in school, but he has a lot of friends. All of his classmates like him. He's the number one player on his soccer team. He plays forward on the team. He usually makes points for his soccer team. Jason likes computers. He knows how to program the computer. Jason's really smart, but he hates to study. He's worried about his grades. He's looking at his report card now. He's thinking, "Boy, mom and dad are going to be mad about my grades." Listen to the next conversation to find out about Jason's grades. D. Check your comprehension. Jason is smart, but listen to each question and choose the correct answer. One, is Jason popular in school? Two, is Jason the best player on his soccer team? Three, is Jason a poor soccer player? Four. Is Jason worried about his grades? Five. Are Jason's friends getting good grades? Six. Are Jason's parents at the movies right now? E. Listening dictation. You will hear the sentence at normal speed. Just listen. You will then hear the sentence in phrases. Write all the phrases. You will hear the sentence again at normal speed. Check your work. One. Jason does not get good grades. Jason does not get good grades. Jason does not get good grades. Two. Jason doesn't like to study and do homework. Jason doesn't like to study and do homework. Jason doesn't like to study and do homework. Three. He is not happy about his report card. He is not happy about his report card. He is not happy about his report card. Four. He isn't thinking about computers now. He isn't thinking about computers now. He isn't thinking about computers now. Five. His parents are not going to be happy. His parents are not going to be. Happy. His parents are not going to be happy. Six. 
His friends aren't getting bad grades. His friends aren't getting bad grades. His friends aren't getting bad grades. Exercise four. A D in biology. Page seventy three. Jason wants to talk to Eric. He leaves his room. He knocks on Eric's bedroom door. Eric opens his door. Listen. A. Conversation. A D in biology. What's the matter, Jason? What do you want? I want to show you something. It's my report card. Let me see it. Are your grades bad again? Well, I have an A in my computer class. What about algebra? A D. What about biology? A D in biology. A D in algebra. Jason, I have a C in science. An F in English. I don't believe it. Well, Eric, I don't like to study, and I hate to do homework. You like to study. I don't. I don't want to go to college. What do you want to do? I want to join the Navy, or be a truck driver, or a computer programmer. I don't know. Look, Jason, it's late. I have to finish my homework. I'll help you with your schoolwork. Just ask me, okay? I'll help you. I'll go to sleep. Okay. Oh, but Mom and Dad are going to be mad. Don't worry about it tonight. And Jason, turn off the music, please. B, the conversation imparts. Listen to the phrases and sentences. Repeat the phrases and sentences after the speaker. What's the matter? What do you want? I want to show you my report card. Are your grades bad again? I have an A in my computer class. A D in algebra. A D in biology. I have a C in science. An F in English. Well, I don't like to study. I hate to do homework. I don't want to go to college. I want to join the navy. Or be a truck driver, or a computer programmer. I don't know what I want to be. I'll help you with your schoolwork. Now go to sleep. Mom and Dad are going to be mad. Don't worry. Turn off the music, please. C, the conversation again. A D in biology. Listen and look at the illustration in A again. What's the matter, Jason? What do you want? I want to show you something. It's my report card. Let me see it. Are your grades bad again? Well, I have an A in my computer class. What about algebra? A D. What about biology? A D in biology, a D in algebra. Jason, I have a C in science, an F in English. I don't believe it. Well, Eric, I don't like to study, and I hate to do homework. You like to study. I don't. I don't want to go to college. What do you want to do? I want to join the navy, or be a truck driver, or a computer programmer. I don't know. Look, Jason, it's late. I have to finish my homework. I'll help you with your schoolwork. Just ask me, okay? I'll help you. I'll go to sleep. Okay. Oh, but Mom and Dad are going to be mad. Don't worry about it tonight. And Jason, turn off the music, please. D. Check your comprehension. A D in biology. Listen to each question and choose the correct answer. One, 
What does Eric say to Jason when he knocks at his door? Two. What's Jason's grade in his favorite subject? Three. What's Jason's lowest grade? Four. What does Jason want to do after high school? Five. Who will help Jason with his schoolwork? E. Identifying feelings. Listen to the speaker. Is the speaker happy, sad, angry, or nervous? Is the speaker happy? Put an X next to the word happy. Is the speaker sad? Put an X next to the word sad. Is the speaker nervous? Put an X next to the word nervous. Is the speaker angry? Put an X next to the word angry. One. I got an A in my computer class. Two. I want to show you my report card. Three. Jason, are your grades bad again? Four. You got an F in English. That's dumb. Five. Turn off the loud music now. Six. Dad'll be mad because I got bad grades. Seven. I'm the best soccer player on the team. F. Listen and write the grades. Sumiko is one of Jason's friends. Here is her report card. Is she a good student? Let's see. Listen carefully and fill out Sumiko's report card. One. Sumiko is a friend of Jason. They're in some of the same classes. Sumiko does well in some subjects, but not in others. Two. Sumiko likes art very much. She draws very nice pictures, and she paints very well too. She received an A in art. Three. Sumiko wants to be a scientist when she finishes college. She's a really good chemistry student. She always gets good grades on her chemistry examinations. In chemistry, she received a grade of A. Four. English is not one of Sumiko's favorite subjects. She doesn't like to write compositions. She received only a C in English. Five. Sumiko wants to be a scientist. She loves science and math, and she has no trouble with geometry. In fact, her grade in geometry is an A. Six. Sumiko thinks German is a difficult language. She can't remember the vocabulary words. She received a D in German. She's very upset about her grade in German. Seven. History is a good subject for Sumiko. She likes to read history books. She really likes world history. She received a B in history. Eight. 
Sumiko's a member of Jason's soccer team. She's the goalie. She loves all sports. She's a good basketball player, and she plays tennis too. Her grade in physical education is an A. Nine. Sumiko didn't miss any days of school during the first semester. She was late a few times, however. She was late five times because she didn't hear her alarm clock. Sumiko hates to get up early for school. She really likes to sleep late on Saturdays.